Hi, welcome to another video. So, OpenAI has launched their Agents SDK and some more new APIs, which seem to be a framework similar to Swarm that they had open sourced earlier to build AI agents. They have also shared how they make things like operator work with a use loop, which is kind of great as well. First of all, if we talk about what they have launched, then there's a new Responses API, combining the simplicity of the Chat Completions API with the tool use capabilities of the Assistance API for building agents. There's also new built in tools, including web search, file search, and computer use. You can reference these tools directly in the API now, similar to how Anthropic's counterpart works. There's also the new agents SDK to orchestrate single-agent and multi-agent workflows. It is open source, which is great to see. Their Responses API is a new API primitive for leveraging OpenAI's built-in tools to build agents. It combines the simplicity of chat completions with the tool use capabilities of the Assistance API. As model capabilities continue to evolve, we believe the Responses API will provide a more flexible foundation for developers building agentic applications. With a single Responses API call, developers will be able to solve increasingly complex tasks using multiple tools and model turns. It will support new built-in tools like web search, file search, and computer use. The API will look something like this, where you'll create a new Responses request and then add a tool like the search tool here, which is great. File search will work like this, while computer use will work like this. If we talk about the agent SDK, then it's very similar to Swarm. You can define agents in a very simple fashion like this. The tools are built directly into them as well, and you can just define them by importing them, as shown here, where we have the web search tool imported. It is quite simple, and you can make agentic loops and everything like that with this. It's nothing new, but the new built-in tools and the new API are kind of amazing to use. So that's great to see. We now have web search and computer use functionalities in it as well, which is great to see. I hope we see deep research soon as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.